Hey guys, my name is Johanna and I'm a third year European Studies Bachelor student. I'm going to start um, my bachelor thesis soon, but I'm going to do this within a research project um, which is called On Expedition Travel into the Unknown. So basically we're going to use a special collection by the library, I'm standing right in front of it. Um, and then um, each of us in the tutorial is going to choose one of these books and is going to analyze and interpret it. Um, to be honest, I don't know exactly what it's about. I've been told it's, uh, these are travel books from the 17th and 18th century. Um, and these are basically people who moved out into the travel into the world and wrote about it. So, um, yeah, basically I'm doing this vlog to take you guys um, on yeah, my journey with me to tell you about how it actually is to um, work with a special collection from the library, maybe which challenges I encounter. Um, yeah, By the way, it's my first time vlogging something, so I'm also super excited, but I'm going to keep you guys updated. Hi, so um, yesterday I had my first tutorial from the Marvel course and um, it was seriously really great. So we're a group of students all from FASAS, we're seven students and we're from arts and culture as well as from European studies um, and we actually were treated to a tour through the archives below the library where they have the special collections. I actually have a flyer here, if you can see it. <laughs> um, and um, it was so great because the curator of the Maastricht University Library, to be honest, I didn't even know this existed. I didn't even know this room existed below the library. And they have like all these old, super old books there. Like sometimes they're even like 500 years old. And this curator like kind of gave us a little tour throughout it and told us all about the books. We could actually touch these books. Um, I mean, they were handwritten, hand printed, of, uh, hand colored often. So um, it was super, super interesting. And afterwards, we just immediately got started basically with our research project. So the curator gave us, um, I think, a selection of like 40, 50 books. And then we were supposed to just put a, uh, pick a couple of books which sparks our interest. Because this course basically works with a uh, object-driven approach, which means that we find an object which interests us based on different reasons, and then from this we start to uh, develop our research question. So this is completely new for me. I've always worked more like with theories and then trying to apply them or to test them. So to be honest, I was a bit overwhelmed. Like I saw all these books, they all look great. I could, you know, I touched them, I, I read a bit through them, but I didn't know at all to what I should look uh, for. So today I'm actually going to um, do a bit of online research because most of these books which are in the collection are actually reprinted and are available um, in Maastricht at the, at the library, at the inner city library. And uh, lots of them are also online over the Maastricht University Library website. So I'm just going to look a bit through this and hope that I will find a few books which spark my interest because, to be honest, so far I don't really know what I want to write about, what I really want to get out of these books. So, um, I think it is always great to, you know, actually hold the book and get a feeling for it. But obviously when you're studying something, when you're studying a book and you want to analyze it or interpret it or whatever, you can't just work with the first edition and you can't just always go down to the cellar of the library and like, you know, work with them there. Uh, but luckily they have all, like the books from the special collections have all been reprinted and are online available. So you can just go to the university library website and um, can find them over there. And because I also didn't know how this worked before, I'm going to show you now with um, one example. Okay, so basically what you do is you go to the university um, yeah, online library website and you can see here something which is called collections and you can actually see there are the special collections and if you press on it, um, you can actually um, yeah, get an insight into like the different collections which are there. Um, however, you can't really, from here, you can't really um, yeah, work with them. Here it basically just gives you like, use our collection, basically just um, 
gives you different options of like what you can do with it and if you want to go there like you can uh, make a request to like um, yeah, actually go down there and, and open them so therefore we have to go to the lip search so live research basically um, there we go okay sorry my wi-fi is a little bit slow <laughs> student housing and all so here basically you can do a lip search and um, what I'm doing is I'm interested in travel in Africa so I'm typing this in there we go so now you can hear on the left side because you just want the special collections you can't really just say okay I want the Jesuit special collection but what you can do is you say you can see this you click on Maastricht University to basically restrict um, all the um, yeah, the results you get. Then you restrict it even further and say just the stuff which is available in the inner city library. And if you go down here, oh, it's a little bit in German, oops. <laughs> you can say, okay, because the special collection, you know, it's like pretty old. So I'm saying I want just results which were published between 1800 and 1900. And basically you apply this filter and ta -da, there we go. So basically all the old books which the library has from back then, Road Travel, is from a special collection. But to be sure, you can basically go down because all the books from special collections have the MU um, abbreviation. So that means that you can be sure that it is from um, the special collection. So yeah, it is basically not hard to do. Um, it's super easy and you can have so much fun exploring what is in here because most of them as you can see are available as ebooks which I think is super handy and um, yeah I basically still have to uh, find something I'm interested in. <laughs> have to select a few um, books but I'm super excited. So anyway what I was saying is that I'm writing, uh, bah, writing, reading, that's the word, that I'm reading right now <laughs> for my Marvel course about post-colonial travel writing which is super, super interesting. Uh, you can just, you know, in case you're interested in that. But that's not what I want to talk about. So what I wanted to talk about is um, what exactly the Jesuit collection is. Because I know for myself, I did not that much know about the Jesuits, to be completely honest. Like, I know there was some kind of, like, religious society, but I didn't know more. So in case you're interested, you can, there's an, um, a video made by Maastricht University from 1992, it's actually really funny. Um, it's on the library website, you can just search for it, and it's like a video which explains the basically the Jesuit collection, where it comes from, and also a bit more about the Jesuits themselves. But what I understood so far is basically the Jesuits, they were like a historical, or like a historical, a religious society, and a Catholic one, and there were basically a couple of hundred years ago, they were like one of the Catholic elites, so they were like, had a lot of like, educated people within them who traveled a lot, wrote about it, um, and who basically made it their passion or like their goal to educate um, people. So that's why there's actually this Jesuit collection in Maastricht, because as I know, as I think I know, there was, they had like a monastery in Maastricht and they had like a huge library where they collected basically all the, the works they used to, all the books they used to educate their students. And then I think the Jesus, I think at one point they got like too, um, yeah, too powerful or something for the Pope. And then he forbid them. And then I think they came back to Maastricht or something. To be honest, just watch this video. <laughs> but the point of this video is that, okay, maybe I should inform myself again a bit more. But I think that they, um, were, they came back to Maastricht in the 20th century. But then at one point, um, I think, like when secularization started in and everything, they uh, they closed the monastery in Maastricht, and I think they moved to like some other place in the Netherlands. But they had this huge collection of like books, and the library, um, or like library, like the university just started off at this point. And especially the Jesus had a lot of like books about anat anatomy, and because the um, yeah the faculty of like medicine was the first one, so there was talks about like opening a university in Maastricht. Back then it was called the, I think, Rijksuniversiteit Limburg. And, um, yeah, the university needed some books. Like, really fast and, like, a big, a lot of books. So, <laughs> that's why um, they bought this collection. 
Okay, so to be honest, this is like not that informative as I had hoped it would be. <laughs> I think you should also look up for yourself if you want to know more about it. The Jesuit collection is the name given to a voluminous section of the library of the University of Limburg in Maastricht. The collection is arrayed in several large halls and contains in the region of 250,000 books. The collection's origin speaks for itself. It derives from Jesuit faculties and a grand seminary. I hope you can hear me. Um, I'm actually in the St. Janskerk right now. I don't know, it's the, the church with the really red tower thing at the Freithof. And I'm here because um, there's a book, an antiquitarian, I don't even know how to pronounce that word, I need the flyer, um, fair here. So um, as you can see, you can basically buy like an antiquitaire books and, and prints and it's super super interesting and also um, our marble supervisors um, Annemiek Klein and also Lise Besseling they made an exhibition about um, past projects from on expedition students so it is super interesting they actually um, yeah, divided it into America, Africa and Asia like the continents um, and basically present some of the books um, which for, for their like former bachelor students uh, wrote about. So I'm going to show you this a little bit. Um, sadly, there's no website like for this special exhibition, but you can look, um, I'll put the link in, um, in here, where you can see 